Good afternoon. We're at the King of Kings Tennis at the Sheraton Vistana Resort here in Orlando. With me is Tim McAdam, 18 years old from Chicago. Hi, Tim. Tell the whole world who are you and what God has done for you lately. So I grew up in the church. You know, I went through the motions with you know uh, Sunday school, going to church making people happy, doing the right things around different people. And then <clears throat> things started going south. I didn't, I kept going to church. I had that life, but I had this life over here where I was cursing people and making fun of people and judging people every day, constantly. And sin was taking over my life. And going into my high school career, <clears throat> my youth group would go on a trip to Jekyll Island, Georgia. We'd go on the beach and play sports, have fellowship with each other. With, 1,500 other uh, Presbyterian students throughout the country. Yeah. And that's when God, I re uh, reintroduced God into my life. The Holy Spirit, I felt the Holy Spirit's presence that entire week. Amen. We had a great worship, uh, worship band the entire week. And I really felt God just cleanse me. Just cleanse me. All, take, all, take away all the sin. I finally understood what my purpose in life was. Amen. There you go. And, you know, <clears throat> being in high school, we all had these temptations to, you know, do drugs and alcohol and, you know, sex with, you know, and all that other stuff that people think is fun when really that's not what God has put us on earth here to do. And so I would Amen. fall into different temptations and still, you know, fall into the judgment of, uh, and judge others. But just recently, this past year, is when I really have made God my main purpose in life. And I, I was Amen. worrying, I found I was worrying way too much about what other people thought. And the only thing that matters is what the Holy One thinks. Amen. It's the only that. that truly matters. There you go. And, and that's you know, the God truth. God now is giving me great leadership opportunities to spread His word. I've been named captain of my it, tennis team here. You're so. a tennis player. Please talk about that. Yeah, How's so, that influenced your tennis yeah. career? So, <laughs> coach said I was captain this year. And, you know, my skills, I'm not the best skill player on the team. I'm, I'm high up there, but... I believe you're pretty good. Yeah, I'm all right. And then God has given me this, this leadership talents. And through that... In my tongues, I've, I've been able to influence others in the right way and live a life God would want me to live. Live the right example. Amen. Not necessarily, you know, preaching the word and you know, saying different Bible verses every day, but just living the life of Christ. Amen. Who lived here on earth, bringing heaven to earth, like it says in, in the uh, hallelujah. In prayer. Um, awesome. You know, God is doing great things. He's going to be doing great things the rest of this week um, in my life, <laughs> in my uh, teammates' life. And um, I'm excited to see what he has in store for the rest of the season and for the rest of my life because I know he's got amazing things in store for Oh, me. yes, he does. You just buckle up and wait. Amen, <laughs> yes. Now, this is your third time here in Orlando yep. you, that you've been time. visiting with your coaches. Now, the three times that you've been here, all, the other three times, you got saved how long ago? I got saved first, uh, 2008, 2009, sorry, summer 2009. Um, my, awesome. No, summer 2008, and you know that was. Uh, it's, it's a growing process, you know. It's when the God even says it's not easy when you when you accept me, when you accept me. Um, yeah. We still have to face all the sin, temptation. Yeah. That the enemy is thrown at us every yeah, single day. Yeah, there's a narrow path. Yeah. We have to uh, accept the love of God and let the Holy Spirit take over and relieve us from the pain and the suffering that we we humans go through every single day here on earth. Yeah. Um, so it's I've been growing so much as a person, as a Christian just with my faith and with my relationship with others and really trying to center my focus on God in these past years, especially the season where there's Amen. guys who could really use the love of God in their life. You can see the emptiness and the brokenness and the Holy Spirit is one that can fix that and bring it together. Yeah, it's the only one. You know, it sounds like you're saying the right words and the Spirit is in with you and, and I know that He's going to use you for mighty things that Amen. you're yet to find out. And I'm just so happy to see you here with us because I, I noticed something about you when I when I talked to you earlier this morning and, and that's that's the spirit he brought us together so I decided to get you on, on a video and, and get you to, to speak to, to the camera because I know there's tennis players all over the world on the professional tour college tour junior tour they need God they have a, a, this this void inside them like I had amen so they don't know that is Jesus 
But with you, with with disciples like yourself out there uh, spreading the word, I believe God is going to be happy with uh, filling the marketplace in tennis. So I thank you. Uh, any any final thing you say before we go home today? God is amazing, man. He he's, is. Done, he's done great things in my life, and he's done me doing even greater things through my the next years to come, and days to come, and throughout this week with my teammates here. It's just going to be. It's exciting awesome. to see what God has in store for us. And awesome. We, we yes, just it accept is. it. He can do amazing things. The Holy Spirit is a yes, miracle worker. Oh, he sure is. Well, thank you, Father, for this opportunity to meet Tim McAdam. Bless him everywhere he goes with his tennis and outside tennis. In Jesus' name, we have filmed. Amen. Amen.